Chromebooks. If you have been in a school in the past few years, you have probably ran into at least one of these systems. First being introduced on June 15, 2011, these cheap Google Chrome machines have proved themselves to be extremely popular for use in schools. During the fifth grade, my school issued us some of the earliest Chromebooks in the form of ARM-based systems produced by Samsung. This is how I was first introduced to the concept of these machines. But all the Chromebooks I've used have always been very locked down and restricted. On top of that, ARM-based Chromebooks are very uncommon in the modern offerings, with almost all being based on x86 processors instead. So, this begs to question, what can a Chromebook, without any restrictions and an x86 processor, actually do outside of being a glorified Google Chrome machine? Well, I was recently given such a Chromebook that had been decommissioned from my school, a Dell Chromebook 11 model P22T, with an Intel Sauron N2840 clocked at 2.0. 1.6 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, and 16 GB of SSD storage. It was the perfect candidate for experimentation. Now, Chrome OS by itself is rather boring, with this Chromebook being one of the worst ones to have due to its lack of support for running Android apps. However, what seems like a rather boring example of a Chromebook becomes a completely different beast the moment you stick it into developer mode. This grants you access to the underlying Linux that powers Chrome OS in the form of a command line terminal. Now, there are methods for sideloading Ubuntu and running a side Chrome OS via Crouton, but that's rather easy and doesn't truly push the Chromebook to its limits. You may be asking, but what can push a Chromebook further than Linux? Remember how I mentioned the most modern Chromebooks run on x86 processors? What operating system is the most popular for the x86 platform? Microsoft Windows. Believe it or not, depending on the Chromebook, there is a way to force a Chromebook to run full-on Windows 10. Now, you can't just grab any old Chromebook you find on the street, throw a Windows 10 USB drive at it, and make it run Windows. Chromebooks were designed to run only one thing, that being Chrome OS. As such, their BIOS is unable to boot anything else, and even if it did, the Windows 10 install would crash soon after due to the Chromebook not fully complying to the standards of a normal PC. This is where having a certain Chromebook comes in handy. A guy on the internet who goes by Mr. Chromebox has created a tool to replace the firmware on a Chromebook with one that is compatible enough with a typical UEFI PC to allow Windows 10 to install without errors. Drivers, however, are another story. I happen to luck out with my Chromebook. It has all the required drivers for its hardware. Other Chromebooks, however, may not have all the drivers required. If you happen to have a supported Chromebook, all you have to do is download and run Mr. Chromebox's firmware utility script and select the install slash update full ROM option. This will back up the existing firmware to a USB device, then download and flash the new UEFI compatible firmware. Once it's done, simply reboot your Chromebook. You will find nothing will start. This is because without its special firmware, Chrome OS will not boot. This is the point where you must insert your Windows 10 USB, delete all partitions on its SSD, concluding finally with letting Windows 10 install itself onto the SSD. After fully installing Windows 10 and all of its drivers, you will find it will boot very quickly. Here is a video of my Chromebook booting Windows 10. Now, you might be wondering, okay, so you put Windows 10 in a Chromebook, can it even do anything? Surprisingly, yes, it can. Using Firefox, I am easily able to surf the web and watch YouTube videos. Games are a different matter. Minecraft Java is a no-go, sadly. It crashes shortly after you load into a world. Minecraft Bedrock, however, plays perfectly fine after you crank all the settings down. It can also play simple 2D games pretty well. I personally tested Tohu 17 and it seemed to run fine after installing DirectX. However, all is not perfect. Due to Chromebooks generally not having much storage, you may quickly run out of space on your Chromebook's internal SSD. The processor also tends to be maxed out very easily due to being designed for low power workloads. Don't expect to be playing the newest AAA titles on your Chromebook, but for older and lightweight titles, it'll get the job done. So at the end of the day, is it worth installing Windows 10 on a Chromebook? Personally, I think if you need a Windows 10 machine that's lightweight, small, and fast to boot, it will do the job. But for actual daily use, I would just go and buy an actual Windows laptop instead of a Chromebook. But for what it is, Windows 10 on a Chromebook is very usable.